time's up, Curly Q. You guys gave a great effort. But hey, you win some, you lose some, don't you? <laughs> uh, here they are, officers. Take them away. No, no, stop. What are you talking about? We have two weeks. Which are now up. Sorry. No, that can't be. I set a chronometer. We still have 24 hours. At least 24 hours. You would have 24 hours if you hadn't violated the sacred laws of space-time. What do you mean? It means you're not a Frank. It's a battle of the Franks. Not the battle of the Franks plus that one nerdy girl. You guys were going to cheat by impersonating a space-time anomaly. And as it turns out, that's a major no-no. Wait, what are you even talking about? Franzella, book a Frank, please, darling. Yes, my grace. Okay, let's see, let's see. Yeah, ha Right here. According to the Book of Frank, page 84, addendum C, footnote 125, anyone impersonating a Frank in order to deal an unfair advantage to any single group of Franks shall be banished from the land. Said group of Franks shall forfeit all rights in perpetuity to being the one true Frank. So, Francine, looks like you guys win by default. Yes! You did this on purpose. You tricked us. Yes. I did. But what does any of this have to do with losing our last 24 hours? <clears throat> Continuing. Furthermore, any individual or group who imitates a space-time anomaly for the sake of personal gain shall forfeit in perpetuity any and all rights appertaining to any epic quest said party may be undertaking, blah, 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 until they face justice before the grand and mighty time court. So, yeah, basically, you guys broke the law. This isn't fair. I say, it's a violation of our human rights. <laughs> hey, I don't know what you want me to say. I don't make the rules. Yes, you do. You literally do. It's exactly what you're doing right now. Balthazar, please, if we can't finish and complete our mission, we'll all cease to exist. And that's a risk I'm willing to take. Besides, it's out of my hands. I can't do a thing. You broke the law, and I hereby and irrevocably declare my grievance against these three and demand my right to testify against them in time court. Uh, why did a glowing scroll appear in front of us? That's your summons. I suggest you take it. Unless you want your head to explode. <laughs> take them away! I say, this can't be legal. No, it can't. He just wants an excuse to keep us from completing our mission. You're darn right I do. Besides, it takes at least 24 hours to initiate a whitewash. So, there. Countdown starts now, people. <laughs> well, two could play at this game. I hereby and irrevocably declare my grievance against Balthazar. I demand my right to testify against him in time court. <gasps> Oh, wait, what? Y you can't do that! Looks like I just did. Wow, Navy, that was so smart! Ah, uh, fine. What are the charges? That you have repeatedly and single-handedly violated the terms of our original treaty. Mm-hmm. And the stakes? The object of great desire. The watch energy. <gasps> what? She can't do that! No, no. It's all right, Francine. I'll allow it. She doesn't have a leg to stand on anyway. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Neither do you. Fine. Bring forth the object of great desire. Frank! Oh, uh, 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 I'm coming. Oh, uh, I... Arthur? Baby? Frank? Oh. Wait, Frank? Original Frank? You... You're the object of desire? <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? This little time prison was ready to burst at the seams until I came up with my genius plan, convincing all these Muppets that if they'd win a war, they'd be crowned the one true Frank when the one true Frank has been locked in this tower all along. <laughs> Turns out Franks are pretty dumb. Frank... Where have you been? Well, it uh, all started after I fell in the vortex trying to help Victor in the... Uh, 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 no, no, flashback. Not in the mood. Oh, come on. No. I'm gonna see you all in court, and I am going to get my whitewash. You better be prepared, Navy, because you're in the final countdown. 
The Time Travelers Radio Show, presented by WPNR at Radio City in New York. After a terrible deed that rocked the very foundations of the space-time continuum, five brave individuals, John, Alex, Jessica, Navy, and Arthur, travel through space and time to retrieve the one item that can restore balance to it all, a small pocket watch from the clutches of the dastardly evildoer, Victor. Now trapped in the 1940s with communication systems down, the team tells their story as a sci-fi radio adventure in the hopes of being rescued and saving the world. This is the Time Traveler's Radio Show. Today's adventure, the final countdown. Now, on with the show. Meanwhile, back in the Arctic, our heroes were growing increasingly worried about a variating landscape of hot and cold, and a missing explorer. Shackleton! Shackleton, where are you? Oh, gosh, I am so sick of this. Worsley, any sign of him? Not yet. He got too much of a head start when we were putting our clothes back on. Ugh, perfect. <laughs> Looks like you were right about the coat. You warm enough? Uh, yeah, I am. Good! Son, I wanted to talk. Oh, so now you want to talk. After everything, now you want to talk. Son, I didn't mean to lie to you. I was just trying to spare you from the... From what? From knowing that my mother is still out there somewhere? Knowing that you've been lying to me about it? From experiencing it. the pain I was in, son. I have never, ever experienced anything so painful. I just wanted to spare you. Well, it's a bit too late for that now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I suppose it is. Son, I'm sorry. I don't know what else I can do. I've made countless mistakes. I'm not perfect. But I am committed to doing better. I want to fix this. There's only one way to fix this. Wait, what? <sighs> so, how did it go? Not now, Victor. I am definitely not in the mood. Oh, come on now, John. I'm simply trying to be a supportive best friend slash former enemy. Alex will come around eventually. Maybe. You have to admit, though, his attitude does cast my proposal in a different light, does it not? But how? How could we do it, Victor? You yourself know the risks better than me. I do. That's why I'm willing to take them. I would do anything to get Robin back. Just not that. As I suspected. What a shame. What a shame indeed. Robin would agree with me. Are you certain of that? Jessica? Jessica? Has anyone seen Jessica? No. I have not. Well, she's not here. I'm sure she's just ahead searching for the explorer. No, she's not. She's not answering her comms either. Jessica? Jess? Son, calm down. I'm sure she's here somewhere. No, something's not right. I can feel it. I have to go find her. I should never have talked to her like I did, and... Wait, wait a second, Alex. Wait, wait just a second. Uh, John, why don't you go ask the good Captain Worsley if he's seen her first? Uh, then we can start a search party, if not. Right. What are you doing? We need to make sure she's safe. I... I will handle finding Jessica. You have my word. Meanwhile, you have a mission to complete, do you not? I, uh... Remember, Alex, if we are to accomplish our design, nothing can get in our way. Not even those we love. We must have a single-minded focus. Can I still count on you to do that? I... Yes, you can. Good lad. I'll be here waiting when you get back. And remember, do not fail. Did my sleigh dogs. Onward! Mush! You know, I really liked you better when you were pretending to be the sassy best friend. Oh, Sean, there's that paternal side of you coming out again. And we all remember where that got you, don't we? In chains! Mush! Ah, it, it's so cold, though. Oh, you can fix that in a jiffy. Just poke the explorer. You know, if you don't mind being chained to an embodiment of Dimitri, that is. Uh, no thank you. Typical Dimitri. 
guy owes me money and then goes and gets himself exploded. Enough talk. Mush. How are you guys holding up? Well, considering the circumstances... Uh, there has to be a way out of this. Maybe Kat does bring up a good idea. If we can get this fellow to change, maybe we can use the new landscape to our advantage. Mm, I don't know about that. I'm not sure it's safe to push him back and forth. I mean, just look at him. I swear, please, it's here. No. Yeah, that way, but I'm not going to What I got? Is that behind? I'm not sure we have a choice, lass. Hey, Shackleton, what are your thoughts on hammers? Oh, that's marvelous. <laughs> oh, I never noticed that before. Splendid. Any other bright ideas? Uh, maybe if we can somehow get that time bubble thing from Kat, we can trap her in it. And how do you propose we do that, lass? I've been keeping an eye on her, and she's got her thumb on it constantly. Ugh, can't you guys just, like, I don't know, do something cool and time walkery and get us out of this? And what did you have in mind? Yeah, we're not miracle workers, you know. I don't know. Can't you just do cool things like, uh, oh, I don't know, like, uh, well, I don't know. I don't even actually know what you guys are. Welcome to the club. What? To be a time walker is to be a walking paradox, lass. None of us knew what we were getting into when we did it. Not fully, at least. Wait, you weren't always time walkers? Well, now, that all depends on if your view of time is circular or linear. But for the sake of argument, no. We were not. Anyone can become one, as long as you take the O's and procure the tokens. Hey, enough chit-chat up there. And those are trade secrets, Leo. They're proprietary. Caitlin, I say this with every ounce of British propriety I have, but go suck an egg! Oh, I think Leo was ready for a time out. Well, who's ready for a behind-the-scenes tour of reality? I'm sorry, what? The Black Abyss can only be accessed from a tear in the fabric of reality located at the poles on each side of the planet. And the tear can only be accessed through the Shadow Plane. Shadow Plane? Aye, you've been there before, if I'm not mistaken. An entire universe just like our own, but reflected as just impression. Shadows, if you will, of what exists here, all outside of the flow of time. Like the labyrinth. Exactly. Oh, that's right, Jess. Remember the time labyrinth? The whole reason why we're all here. All right, all aboard the pain train. Next stop, certain annihilation. <laughs> what? What? Wait, no! If we go in there, we'll just be moments away from certain annihilation. Welcome to the conversation, Leo. Cat, please. Isn't there anything we can do to change your mind? Hmm, let me think about it. Nope. Not that this really matters anyway. Balthazar is really the one handling your little situation. Throwing you in the black abyss is simply a personal vendetta. Isn't this exciting? Oh, all of us old army buddies back together. Me watching you flail into nothing as you fall into the abyss. Wait, what do you mean Balthazar is taking care of us? He's gonna make sure that that navy girl and her little friend and his little chicken never see the light of day again. <laughs> hmm, you don't say so. Hey, Shackleton! Ah! Ow! Oh. <laughs> it's not like that's gonna save you. No, but that might. Run! Jessica! Hey, watch it! Save it for the judges. Hey, don't we get a phone call or something? It's all right as freedom-loving Americans. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't leave us in here forever. We want a lawyer. We want... Yeah, he's gone. Well done, baby. You told him. Thanks. Okay, guys, I don't know where we are or what this place is, but we have to start figuring out our case. 
Can we even trust this legal system? No. Balthazar clearly doesn't have a leg to stand on, but we have to assume the odds are going to be stacked against us. And meanwhile, we've only got, oh, 22 more hours before Balthazar whitewashes us. Do you even know who you're talking to? I am a cool wing. Yeah, yeah, we've heard it all before. Shut your yeah. We are not amused. Victoria? <gasps> Wait, you're Alex's friends, aren't you? Oh. I can't say how good it is to see you. Victoria, what are you doing here? I've been stuck in this terrible limbo ever since I saw you all in that dreadful labyrinth. You've been stuck here since the time labyrinth? Why? How? All I remember was that terrible bell ringing, and then everything getting very blurry. Yeah, you chased us with an army after that. Did I really? Well, at any rate, I woke up here. They keep telling me that I violated the rules of space and time, or something ridiculous like that. I just want to go home. My dear Albert must be worried sick about me. Well, all of time and space has been messed up, so he might be just fine. Victoria, have you gone before the judge yet? It's judges. Plural. They are just awful. They keep saying that there's not enough evidence for my release. I don't know what I'll do. Don't you worry your pretty little head, ma'am. I will personally assure your release. As president, I possess extensive bargaining powers. Did that chicken just speak to me? He does that a lot. Uh, can you tell us anything about them? Well, they are very wise. <gasps> Cherie? Cherie, is that you? What are you doing here? It is I, but I'm afraid I'm a little frailer than you may remember. What's happened to you? I tried helping you, but I do not regret it. I'm being kept here as punishment, constantly trying to dodge certain annihilation. But as I said, I do not regret. But why? I I don't understand what's going on. Why did you try to help me? Because I realized some things that not all time workers do. You are not a menace. We are. I say, what's that commotion? There's someone at the end of the hall. It's Balthazar. Just remember, act natural. Buck, buck. Wait, there's someone else with him. No, I said no, absolutely not. You need to remember your place, my friend. Wait, what? what is this all about anyway? Oh, I get it, I get it. You want to wear the hat, don't you? Oh, well, it takes a lot more than a fancy watch collection and a suave attitude to wear this, baby. You want to lead the Time Walkers? You've got to be tough and command respect. And besides, you've got to go through me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just stay here, Lackey. I'll get them. All right, gang. Time to face the music. Who's ready for some justice? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Me, me. Arthur. Oh, wait, sorry. Not me. Wait, don't we get our phone call or a lawyer or... Anything? Kid, a lawyer isn't going to help you where you're going. Balthazar, who were you speaking with at the end of the hallway? Oh, you're going to get a real kick out of this. I brought someone here to say hello, specifically designed to throw you off your game. Henri. Bonsoir, Nevi. Ooh, man, you could cut the awkwardness with a knife. Wait, Navy, who is that guy? He was the time walker in charge of my time prison. The one from France. Oh, right. He seems nice, very debonair and... Yeah, he seems that way. But of course he's not. Nope. Do you want to talk about it? Nope. Right. Maybe... Maybe you could just put your head on my shoulder again. If you wanted. Later or something. Wait, wait what? <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, uh, I mean... Arthur, I... All right, this is it. Uh, with your permission, Archduke Balthazar, I would like a moment to speak with this one, with the uh, poofy air, uh, just for a moment before you begin. Uh, fine, but make it snappy. The rest of you, in, in, in. Ah, uh, we meet again at last, eh, Nevi? What do you want? And what are you doing with Cherie? 
Ah, that's it. That is a sad tale. We have for all traitors two options. Shari chose to plead her case. She will likely never leave. Without her token, this place will feed on her time energy as she withers to nothing. I don't understand. She was trying to help me. We time walkers are not all as unified as we may appear. There were disagreements as how to handle your kind. Shari simply chose the losing side. Which brings me to my offer. Offer? <laughs> Always so suspicious, no? Oh, fair enough. I wanted to offer you an opportunity. An opportunity? Eh, uh, oui. You are smart, intelligent, and crafty. All traits that I value in a partner. Partner? I have set things in motion that can now not be undone, Nevi. Things that will change the time workers as we know it. If you and your friends do not succeed, well, please consider my proposal an alternative to non-existence. There is no one I would rather have by my side when the time comes. For what? The old ways are dying away, Nevi. All things must become new. It is the cycle of time. Keep an open eye when the time comes. You shall know it when you see it. Time's up! Come on! Oh, good, Navy. They were just about to present the judges. I hope they're nice. <laughs> Kid, these judges exist outside of time and space. They're rumored to be older than the dawn of the universe and will be here long after it's gone. What makes you think they're going to be nice? Now presenting the Honorable Ethel and Euphemia, Supreme Judges of the Grand Court of Time and Space. Wait, what? Hello, dear. <laughs> Ooh, look who it is, Ethel. It's so good to see you again, dears. Wait, you know them? Oh, my gosh, it's the Cosmic Grannies. <laughs> Victor, any sign of Jessica? None. Wait, where's Alex? Well, that's odd. He was right here. Alex! Alex! Oh, where did he go? Relax, I'm sure he's just looking for Jessica. Alex! Alex! Where are you? Jessica! This mission is cursed. You really think so? Was it the shipwreck or the constantly missing people that gave it away? Victor, I don't see him. Are you sure he didn't say anything? Positive. Well, they couldn't have gotten far. Cursed, I tell you. Oh, relax. Nothing else bad has happened yet. No, nothing else at all. You. Yeah, it's me. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Where's Alex? I need to speak with him. Why don't you tell us? What? I think what my associate here is trying to say is... You turn up after Alex goes missing? Don't you have him caught in a nice web somewhere? Are you daft? I'd never hurt Alex. What's wrong with you? She does seem of the more sincere variety of Time Walker, John. Perhaps we can trust her. <laughs> I once thought the exact same thing. What is that? What I've been trying to tell you about? Listen, I don't care what your experience was with me, Mum, but you have to listen to me. She ain't happy about what happened back with Shakespeare, not in the least. We we fell out with Balthazar, you see, and she considers it to be all your fault, especially Alex. She's trying to destabilise this reality to take you lot down, so I need to find him and warn him. Is he really not here? No, he's not. Oh, no, that's really bad. How do we know we can trust you, that this isn't a trap? Was there anything me mum wouldn't have done for you back before whatever happened between you guys happened? Fair enough. But it's not just Alex. Jessica and Shackleton are gone. No offence, but I'm not really worried about them right now. Mayors, we either save them all or we don't save any of them. That's the deal. But... How about this? You go with Mayors here and reclaim your wayward son. I stay here and work on finding Jessica and the mad explorer. Deal? Fine. But no funny business. Either of you wouldn't dream of it. Order. There shall be order in this court. Ethel. 
Cole and Euphemia, you're the time court judges? Indeed. Uh, but, uh, but, but how? Some things are always not questioned, dearie. Besides, our life coach has been encouraging us to get out and experience the world more. We meet so many interesting people in this job. Oh, indeed. Do you remember that enchanting man from Spain who taught us to paint? Oh, yes. A very abstract man. Lots of little boxes and triangles. Didn't care for it. Indeed. What? How is this fair? You're supposed to be omniscient, impartial judges outside of time and space. You can't have a personal relationship with the defendants. What's the matter, Balthazar? Afraid of an unfair trial? You each have our word to our impartiality and fairness. Isn't that right, Euphemia? Oh, yes. But Martin, why haven't you been to visit your aunties in so long? We've missed you. We've just been really busy lately. What? Aunties? Order. There shall be order in this court. Sorry, Balthazar. Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Fine. Ah, it won't matter anyway. My case is airtight. We are gathered here today to examine the claim that the defendants have violated the sacred laws of space and time and should therefore be forbidden from continuing in their current quest and subsequently whitewashed. How do the defendants plead? Uh, not guilty, right? Yes. We are also set to review the charges that Balthazar, Supreme Archduke of the Time Walkers, has been unfairly persecuting the defendants. How do you plead, sir? <laughs> Not guilty, Your Honors. The stakes concern one Frank Franklin, space and time anomaly, and object of great desire. Will the object please come forward? Hi, everybody. Boy, it sure is cool to be here in this... No talking. Sit. Sit. Ow. Oh, come on. Don't I get any lines? Ow. The winner of the case will receive the object of desire as a reward. What say ye? Okay. Yes. Take that back. <laughs> Wonderful. Indeed. Does the plaintiff have representation? Uh, indeed we do, Your Honor. I would like to present our counsel, Pierre. Bonjour. I say, he's their counsel? You really think you can win with him as your attorney? Oh, I don't need to win. I just need to slow you down. You only have, what, uh, 18 hours left? Pierre's the most incompetent person I know. He can blather on for hours. Uh, ladies of uh, the Grand Space and Time Court, uh, I, uh, well, uh, but uh, what was I supposed to say again? See what I mean? <laughs> Don't worry, Pierre, you're doing great. Do the defendants have counsel? Uh, just a second. Guys, what do we do? Can't you just represent us, Navy? I'm smart, but I know nothing about the law. If, if I may be so bold. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I could do it. Arthur, I love you, but this is not the time to find out if you can be a good lawyer or not. Oh, come on. I could be such a good... Wait, did you just say love me? Oh. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me, if I could just... I said I love you. I, I didn't mean... I, I, I didn't mean... I'm sorry, dearies. I'm going to have to press you for an answer. I... I... If I may be so bold as to interject, before my ascension to the highest office in the land, I had the pleasure of a distinguished career as a United States attorney. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no! Chester A. Rubin, attorney at law, at your service. Did we lose it? I think so. I am so tired. I am so tired. Are you all right, Leo? Just resting, thank you. Do we have the explorer? <laughs> oh, got him. OK. Good job, guys. Step one accomplished, get away from Caitlin. Now, what's step two? Hop on a nice boat, sail to a new reality, and start a new life. Oh, I second the motion. 
I'll take that as an agreement. No, we have to go back and help my friends. Friends with Hammer, friends with Hammer. I'm with Shackle Dimitri here. You can always get new friends. We've got to get out of here before Caitlin finds us again. No, we have to help them. They seem to be able to handle themselves. What do you say, Jess? Come run away with us. I... What was that? Sounded like a chronoblast, a big one. A chronoblast? Time destabilization. Someone used a chronoblast, basically a time bomb, to release a large amount of energy into the fabric of reality around it. It's time walker tech. It can be used to break down barriers, but a blast that big can damage time. That means there's another time walker close. So what do we do? Well, we need to find whoever is doing it and make them stop, but we're most likely dealing with a walker who still has their token, though. So that puts us at a sincere disadvantage. Don't time walkers have any secret weaknesses or something? Aye. The oaths. What oaths? We take an oath to never interfere with time. That only extends to directly, however. We can do anything indirectly. If we interfere directly, we cease to be time walkers. Okay, cease to be. But you still haven't told me what you were before. We were humans, Jess. Human? A long time ago, one of our kind discovered that if you removed a seemingly inconsequential object out of its place in space-time, and if you swore an oath never to interfere with time directly, you could remove yourself from the flow of time and use the paradox energy to kind of catapult yourself through the ages. Our tokens and oaths allow us to walk behind the scenes of reality and travel in time without portals and ships. So the secret weakness is the oath. How do you get someone to break their oath? It's very hard. It's never been done before. As far as I'm aware. But that's not saying it can't. All right. So uh, what do we do first? First, we've got to find whoever's doing this. Then we see if we can get them to break their oaths. But how are we going to get there? Perhaps I can be of some assistance? So what's the plan for this week? Do we have a new sponsor? Not yet. Turns out despite Victor's influence, it's still very hard to get a sponsor in this town. Why don't we just do more Frank's Borscht? Not an option. Turns out Frank's Borscht was, uh, toxic. The FDA confiscated the remaining barrels. Wow, we really know how to pick them. We could do more of our own products. I came up with a charm cream I think could be very popular it's and... Alex, the last oh, time. No, oh, no, no more personal products. I think we've all learned a valuable lesson. So what do we do? Well, we have enough borscht money to get us through this episode, but then... Excuse me, is this the Time Traveler's radio show? Yes, but we're in the middle of a recording. And well, I hate to interrupt, but I have a product I'd like to advertise on your program. Would you be interested? What is it? It is for my new patent pending full body hair dryer. $19.99 a unit. Uh... uh go ahead. Can't be any worse than McGrath's bacon. Sounds great. Uh, right this way, sir. And if there are any other advertisers anywhere in time or space, please reach out to us at timetravelersradio at gmail.com. And now, back to our thrilling season finale this evening on WPNR, the Time Travelers Radio Show, the final countdown. So the trial commenced, and it drug on and on and on, us being prosecuted by Pierre and defended by a chicken. I object. We haven't started yet, my dear. Very well. Sustained. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, cosmic grannies, my fellow Americans, I ask you, do these look like the face of hardened criminals? I say unto you, nay! <laughs> if you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you pluck us, do we not fuck up? If they're free, good job, Mr. Chicken. Oh, yes, very well argued. <laughs> good job, Wuben. Actually, yeah. We're nailing this thing with the court of public opinion. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. How are we doing on time, Navy? Only three hours left. 
I'm not sure what else we can do, though. Ethel and Euphemia aren't the most attentive judges. I say, Ethel, can you recall what the chicken said about tickling? You know, I rather can't. <laughs> we need something. I know just the thing. An impassioned speech on the morality of this whole horse and pony show. I can ensure not a dry eye in the room. That's a great idea, Reuben, but you need to rest. You've been pushing yourself too hard. That's true. I always have to watch my blood pressure when I get to litigating. No, we need something big, explosive. We need... Uh, Your Honors, uh, we would like to call to the stand our final witness. Very well. We shall allow it. Well, who would you like to call? Your Honor, we call the object of desire himself, Frank Franklin. <gasps> oh, my Order in the court. What? Can they do that? Objection, Your Honor. This is pretentious, superfluous, and ridiculous. This man cannot testify in this case. Not only was he not at the scene of the crime, but he is the very object being squabbled over. Uh, Your Honor, we are simply trying to establish a pattern. I submit that the human time travelers have repeatedly and systematically violated the rules that govern space-time, none of which is as evident as in our next witness. We shall allow it. Please proceed. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Ooh, uh, I do. <laughs> Please uh, state your name. Uh, uh, Frank Franklin. And tell me, Frank, do you see... Any other Franks in this courtroom? Uh, yes, right over there. <gasps> How did they find us? We tried to blend in so well. I told you we should have gotten funny hats. Ooh, how fascinating. There are three of them. Exactly. Due to the recklessness of the human time travelers, this dear man was cast into this time vortex. Due to their carelessness, Three different versions of Frank Franklin were torn from their realities and made to serve a villain in this one. Oh, he's a genius. Misunderstood in his time. <gasps> Order! Order in this court! And then, in their misguided attempts at terrorism, they released dangerous prisoner, fundamentally jeopardizing space-time in the process, creating a whole planet of these creatures. Oh, how fascinating. <laughs> we must go on holiday, Ethel. <laughs> Indeed. Esteemed ladies of the bench. Oh, sweet talk will get you everywhere, dear. <laughs> Make no mistake. These individuals are criminals. I rest my case. Order! Order in this court. Permission to cross-examine the witness, Your Honors? Granted. Frank. May I call you Frank? Uh, yes. I, I didn't know chickens could talk. Uh, Under whose orders did you dive into the vortex after the watch? Uh, Victor. And tell me, what was your relationship to the defendants before the schism with John and this Victor? We were shipmates. And would you say that you were amicable shipmates? Oh, of course. Navy was always super nice to me and Arthur. Uh, objection! Overruled. Continue. Uh, uh, Arthur and I played checkers together. And do you consider these individuals to be a threat? Uh, no, uh, not particularly. There you have it. Distinguished ladies of the bench, I submit that the only time this universe has had problems with human time travelers has been when one victor, that dastardly evildoer, has caused it to be so. I'll rest my case. Excellent. Well argued, Counsel. We are not fans of that man, Victor. If both parties have finished, we shall move on to the closing statements. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I, uh, well, I, um, we are not guilty, and, uh, they are? Is that it? Uh, yes. Way to phone it in, you idiot! <laughs> the defendants? Your honors, I am but a simple chicken. 
I like barn feed from the country and pretty dark feathered hands. But it does not take a simple chicken to discern the truth of the events that have taken place here today. The prosecutors have systemically and intentionally lied and defamed my clients, entrapped them in impossible situations, and in general, been big old bullies. To begin with, this case should have never come to trial. The plaintiffs have not produced even one iota of evidence that actually shows that my clients should not be allowed to continue on their merry way and succeed in their missions. Brought up on spurious charges, all based off of a footnote in a book that was written by the very man who is accusing them today. It's not right. It's not just. It's not the American way. These two have never not shown themselves to be good and decent time travelers doing good wherever they go. The prosecution's surprise witness just as well as told you so. As for myself, my life has forever been changed for the better because I met these wonderful people. Your nephew, your very own nephew, look at him. Is he not in a way all our nephew? Your honors, if you find these two guilty, that will be the real crime against time and space. Thank you, and may God bless America. Order. There shall be order in this court. Oh, Reuben, if you aren't just the best chicken ever. Thank you, my friend. Any chance I could get a nice cold iced tea? We have one hour. Ethel, Euphemia, if you're going to vindicate us, you better do it now. Oh, fool spirits. We knew all those bad things they said couldn't be true about you, dears. Oh, what? I hereby declare the defendants to be not guilty. Ha! Let's roll. Frank, you're with us now. Oh, that's a relief. These fellas weren't ever really nice to me. Or, or a retrial, or whatever it is. I'm sorry, young man, but our ruling is quite final. Have you thought about getting out more, seeing the world? <laughs> anyway, tot off for now, darling. Bye. Bye. All right, let's go. Uh, can we come to? Uh, we went to see Victor. Sure, why not? But let's go. Oh yes, very oh, much. Thank you. Hey, uh, do you fellers have a birthmark on your? Uh... Let's go. Oh, wait, and uh. Arthur? Yeah? Mm. <laughs> wow. All right, we can go now. Ruben, what just happened? I'll explain it on the way. You see, when a man and a woman love each other very much, <laughs> what do we do? Prepare a jump point. We have some idiots to catch. Any sign of Alex on that fancy scanner thing of yours? Yeah. Dead ahead. Perfect. So, how have you and Alex been uh, getting on? None of your business. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's just that... What? Alex really looks up to you, and I'd like to see him lose you. That ship has set sail, Mares. <laughs> see? That's the real problem with you Barnsworth men. So fatalistic and stubborn, you both like to wallow in those feelings of yours and make the whole world around you suffer as a result. <laughs> I know you used to be really close with me, Mum. And then something happened. No, I just... Your mother and I were excellent friends. But then I realized that I was going to be with Robin forever and she didn't understand. Then I found out that she was a time walker and, well, crazy. And... <laughs> Sometimes people just drift apart. I've tried to talk to Alex, but he just won't have it. Have you tried being completely honest with him? What? Have you told him everything? You've always been very good at secrets, if I understand correctly. Have you told him why you didn't help his mum? Well, not entirely. He won't let me. I'd start there. That way, you and him won't end up being arch enemies forever like you and me. Hello, John. Daughter. Mother? Oh, don't worry. I'll deal with you momentarily, traitor. Well, here we are, John. Our final showdown. Marissa! 
What are you doing here? You and your team are ruined my standing before Balthazar. I must find a way to get back in his good graces by preventing you from achieving your goal. I destroy this reality and everything in it. None of you will be able to fix things, and then Balthazar can whitewash you and my status will be restored. Marissa, please, listen to me. You're not thinking straight. Just, just take your hands off the Chrono Blaster. Yeah, Mom, please. The truth of it is, these aren't bad people. I really like them, and you... <laughs> Marissa are my daughter and my time token, and you will do as I say. Marissa, let her go. She still has a choice. So do you. Oh, it's too late for that. It's too late for you and your son. It's too late. Just too late. One more blast for me, and I'll open a tear in reality that will swallow this bubble whole. I don't think so. Son, you, you... Did what I had to. Mares, you're free. Uh, what? How did you do that? A chronoblaster has the capacity to destabilize reality by raising the fabric of reality around it. But it can also open a portal if you use it right. I sent Marissa into an endless loop in the vortex. She'll never bother us again. Where did you learn to do that? Victor taught me. He was confident there'd be a time walker up here that had one. He saw it on a scanner. And now what are you doing? It's time to end all of this. We need to open a portal into a nexus point in the vortex, don't we? But we don't have everything we need. Wanna bet? Come in. Come in. Does anybody copy? Navy, where are you? Trying to get through to your position, but we're having a hard time getting through. There's a lot of interference. I'm going to blast you through, Navy. Now we just need... Incoming! And look who I found, just as promised. Alex! Jess! Oh, I was so worried. Where were you? Oh, long story. I had to rescue some time walkers. But time walkers? Don't worry, lad. We're on your side. <laughs> well, are we ready to finish this thing? According to my calculations, we only have... All right, let's go. We've got 20 minutes. Hi, guys. Arthur. Arthur. You'll never guess what happened. We went to France, but they weren't French. They were all Franks. And then we went to Time Court and saw the Cosmic Grannies, and then Reuben was our lawyer, and then we found the Franks, and then Navy kissed me. Wait, what? Don't worry about that last part. See, Franks, look. Bonsoir. Hello, muy buena. My boys, where have you been? When well, well, it was nothing but the Franks as far as I can see. see. That was creepy. You don't say. Oh, and we also found the original Frank. Uh, hi, everyone. Frank? Frank? Why, my boy, how good it is to see you. Where on earth have you been? Well, I, nope, uh... Nope, no time. Oh, come on. Well, either way, my boy, I promise you'll never have to go back in the vortex again. Not exactly. It also turns out that he was the final container of watch energy. Oh, well, in that case, I think I still have the rope we used the first time. Alex? Yeah? Open the portal, just as I taught you. Right. So, what do we do? All the items must be rejoined at the nexus point in the vortex. So, throw them in. Shakespeare Page? Check. Shackleton Watch? Excuse me, Ernest. I'm going to need that. <laughs> oh, goodness. I suddenly feel so much better. And finally, Frank Franklin. Oh, gee. I don't know if I really want to do this again, guys. You know, my dear boy, I'm reminded of a proverb. Suck it up. <laughs> There's a good lad. Uh, you're doing great. What could happen to him going in there a second time? In theory, either restore him completely whole again, just one Frank, or make all the Franks that have been pulled here permanent. We can't worry about that right now. I'm good. Now what? Back up. Did it work? The watch, finally. John, grab it. No, it must be Alex. 
I mean, the lad has been through so much. Alex, will you do the honors? Yes. Well, did it work? I don't know. How do we tell? The universe should be pulling itself back together, which doesn't seem to be the case. Well, it seems like the same watch, and I... <laughs> could very much very smash it with a hammer! <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, no. What? I didn't even think of this. The Dimitri energy, it's still attached to the watch. That means the watch energy must permanently be corrupted. And it has to be the exact energy as before to restore reality. Oh, no. So this has all been for nothing? You better believe it, girly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Time is up. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. Yes, 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 yes! Sweet, sweet victory! I finally get to undo my greatest mistake! And guess what? As soon as we get rid of you guys, this reality goes back to normal. So we do get to stay, and you guys are the ones who'll be out of time! <laughs> no! We were so close! There has to be something we can do! Nope! You hear that? That is the sound of five minutes till your doom! Pierre, <laughs> break out something sparkling. This is an important day. Oui, oui, mon capitaine. Guys, I have a plan. All we need to do is get him to interfere directly in some way, and he'll stop being a time walker. Just trust me. How do we do that? Perhaps I can be of assistance. Henri? Hello, Navy. Have you been considering my proposal? Ah, Henri, you're just in time to celebrate our victory! Finally, no more human time travelers! It is a stupendous day. Alex, have the chronoblaster ready. What's the matter with you? Still pouting about earlier? It has come to my attention. Once we whitewash these human time travelers, you intend to keep the watch? Okay, I see what this is about. Balthazar, you know what he did to me. How he wronged me. It was my token. The watch will unfortunately never be the same after all this. Uh, sorry, pal. Looks like you'll just have to keep using one of your bajillion other clocks as a token. I must then proceed with my plan. What? Give me that. Hey, what are you doing? Smashing the whitewash activator. No, no. Give me that! Altesa, you... Uh, you acted directly to interfere with time? Oh, crud. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Alex, no! Altesa, no, I am coming! <laughs> Oh my gosh! He's gone. Are we good? Are are we are we safe? No, mon ami. I'm afraid there has simply been a change in management. No, please, Henri. My offer still stands for you, Nevi. Oh, Nevi, did I not tell you earlier? The wheel of time never stops turning. It is time for a new regime, and I do want you by my side. I'll never join you! Are you certain? Besides, do you not remember? Henri was always the only one to give you the love and acceptance you sought. No, you weren't. And aren't. I'd rather die standing right here with the people I love, the person I love, than abandon them. You're a liar. Ah, very well. De la vie, no? One minute until whitewash. I don't think so. Drop it. What? You... You dare impede my victory with a time bubble? It's the stranger that helped us in the time labyrinth, Mr. Enigmatic Cloakman! And in my time prison... Hello, everyone. Good to see you again. Son? Dad? Dad? Dad?
Wait. Grandpa? I knew it! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I knew he looked familiar! Yes, Navy. I knew you'd recognize me eventually. I'm sorry I haven't been able to help more than I have. I'm afraid you've come under grave danger as a result of my choices years ago. What? What are you talking about? Ah, look who decided to show up, huh? My old friend, mon ami. Dad? You know him? I do. Why don't you tell them? Why don't you tell them the grand secret? Secret? What secret? That watch never belonged to me. What? Wasn't it your father's and his before that? No! It was mine. It was my time token. And he stole it from me. <gasps> no. No, that can't be true. I'm afraid it is, Alex. I had discovered time walkers early in my research and knew that if I could just get my hands on a time token, I could potentially unlock the secrets to time travel. And then I accidentally removed it from time again. And the result were tears in the fabric of reality that made time travel for the everyday man possible. And as a result of that, it became my token. And Henri was locked out of his travels for many years. That's why when Victor stole it, albeit for a different purpose, time fractured because he repeated the process a third time. Victor? Henry? But not anymore, mon ami. And if you will please kindly remove the time bubble you have thrown up around us, time will flow once again, and the whitewash will be complete. There won't be any whitewash, Henri. As far as I'm aware, I was needed to give my agreement to the whole proceedings as well, to which I have not, and do not. I would never change a thing about my past. It's what made me who I am. So the entire idea of a whitewash is actually moot. <laughs> See? <laughs> Voila! Well, in that case, there never was any type of agreement for us to spare you. Hello, time walkers! Take aim! My family and friends, you are suffering now because of a mistake I made many years ago. This is my fight. So, it's now time for you to run. Now! What the? Is he a Jedi? How did he stop those blasts? He is the greatest time traveler who ever lived, so... I admit, I've been around the block a few times, learned a few tricks. Now run! Wait, what about Frank? Pull him up! Wait, wasn't there a Frank tied onto the end of that rope? Oh, no. Not again. You've got to go. Now. Okay, well, bye, Frank One. And John? What? Good luck, son. Fix the watch and get out of here. But how? There is a way. Trust your team. Now go! Behind the ship! Okay, okay, what do we do? I don't know. There's no way to fix the watch. The energy has been corrupted. Okay, just think. There has to be a way. My dad said there was a way. Okay, so theoretically, if we had another undefiled container of watch energy, it could work, but we don't. Oh, I wouldn't go as far to say that. What? I am an uncorrupted vessel of watch energy, am I not? Lest we forget, I got my magical powers from the watch. The uncorrupted time energy lives on in me. Oh, well, that works. Reuben, no. There, there has to be another way. You know there isn't. What's wrong? Arthur, if Reuben goes into the vortex and the watch energy is sucked out of him... Reuben, if you do this, you're not just carrying the watch energy like Frank was. It's become a part of you, so if you do this, it'll, it'll be... What? It, it'll be what? It will be goodbye, my friend. Goodbye is in... No. No, Reuben, you, you can't. There, there has to be another way. There has to be something else we can do. Shh. My child, our time together has been brief, yet beautiful. And I've always regretted that I have but one life to give for my country. <laughs> Toss me into the vortex. No, Reuben. <laughs> If you don't do it, 
So help me, I'll do it myself. Out of my way. Out. Open the portal. Ruben, no! Give me the watch, darn it. Navy, take care of him. Goodbye, my friend! No! We did it. Alex, grab the watch. Ah, what was that? A temporal runoff. Here, give it to me. Ruben? Arthur, I'm so sorry, but, but Reuben saved the day. He saved all of us. Indeed. Grandpa! Alex! I got him! Everyone else, on the ship! Alex! Grandpa! Grandpa! Well done, Alex. It seems you all just saved the world. Come with us. We have to get out of here. I'm afraid that's not to be, Alex. We must part ways here, but trust me when I say, we shall meet again. Grandpa, was the watch really not yours? I just... I, I just... Alex, our time is short, so I'll be brief. To be a Farnsworth is to bear a complex family legacy. One of many good men who've tried their best, despite enormous weaknesses, to change the world for the better. We're not perfect, but we try. Go easy on your father, Alex, because someday you want someone to go easy on you. I... Now go! I have this under control. Are you sure? For the most part. I... Jessica! Oh, Jessica! Thought you could get rid of me that easy? Is that a woman riding a dinosaur in the Arctic? That's my Time Walker, former best friend of me who's trying to throw me in the Black Abyss. My. You have been busy this season. Go! And Jessica, take this. The time bubble? You're going to need it. Now go! I'll take care of your Time Walker friends. Go! Where have you been? We have to go! I... What's this for? A hug? I... I'll explain later. Let's get out of here. There's a weak spot at 12 o'clock. Punch it! We'll have just enough power to get through. Set a course for my dad's study, Navy. Let's get this over with. I can't believe it. Did we actually pull this off? Can we finally go home and everything go back to normal? Wait, who has the watch? Wait, seriously? Who has the watch? We are not going through this again. Alex, didn't you have it? No, it did something when I touched it. I... Oh, silly me. I have it. <laughs> You know, it is the greatest irony that we should suffer so much for something so seemingly inconsequential. But now, as you've all said, it can finally come to an end. Are you ready, Alex? I am... Um, ready. Victor? Alex? What are you talking about? You really haven't put the clues together yet, have you? All the slinking away Alex and I have been doing. Me telling him to grab the watch? No! You didn't! You wouldn't! I did, and I would. I told you I wanted him left out of this, Victor! But what is going on? Remember our little chat about the Black Abyss, Jessica? Well, there is one thing that can bring an individual out of that place, and I now hold it in my hand. What? A time anomaly this powerful, with this much time energy associated with it, should be just enough to get my sister out of that void. Sister? Robin is your sister? We'd all do anything for our tribe, Jessica. Remember that. I can't let you do this, Victor. Always the same, isn't it, John? Putting the good of others over the good of those he loves. Son, I don't know what he's told you, but his plan is madness. I want to see your mother again, but not like this. He will use that watch to create a paradox so large that it implodes this universe in the process. Oh, if you just hadn't a touched that watch! Why? In order to get Robin out of the Black Abyss, I needed to have a bit of her time energy to locate her. That energy now only exists in Alex, as he is her only child. So, wait. You were just using me? So I could help you get the watch? No, no, no. I'm generally impressed with your abilities and acumen for evil. 
But as a precaution, I could not let you know that part of my plan. Shall we? What do you mean? We can't just leave them. Alex, we can come find them again once we form our new empire. Just come with Uncle Vicky. Empire? You said all you wanted to do was bring my mom back. Well, of course I'm going to do that. But why stop there? I have the watch after all. <laughs> you... You lied to me. I trusted you. I trusted you beyond anyone else, and you lied to me. You were just using me. As I said, single-minded focus, no matter the cost. Are you coming? No. Well, I suppose I'll be down a henchman then. But if what I hear is true, there's now an entire planet of Franks at my disposal. Looks like I really can take over the world now, because I finally have the volume. You're not going anywhere, Victor. I rather think I am. In all the commotion that we just experienced, and with all of us standing over here, didn't anyone wonder who was flying this ship? Oh... Uh... Good point. <laughs> Greetings, my friend. Dimitri. How, 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 what? Turns out the universe wasn't the only thing to reform when the watch was restored. All that Dimitri energy had to go somewhere. Oh, yes, Victor. Dimitri is back. <laughs> Also, Dimitri has never flown before. <laughs> Goodbye, John. Boys, let's roll. Oh, where are you, Victor? Victor, no! <laughs> Ship, go boom! <laughs> Jessica, the time bubble! Activate it now! Dimitri. Dimitri is back, and Victor has the watch. Alex! Alex! Son, speak to me. Are you okay? Dad, I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I, I, I messed up. I, I thought I could trust him. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Son, son, listen. It's all right. Well, how could it be all right? I messed up so bad. Well, as my dad used to say, we Farnsworths bear a complicated family legacy. One of many good men who tried their best, despite enormous weaknesses, to change the world for the better. Yeah, he told me. Son, you're a Farnsworth, through and through. Bold, adventurous, stupid, <laughs> stubborn, passionate, fiercely loyal, with terrible judgment. <laughs> you're in good company. From now on, no more secrets. We'll be open and honest with each other about everything. We'll find a way to bring your mother back. Together. But, but he already has the watch. He's going to try and bring her back and implode the universe. <laughs> Not a chance. He may have your time signature, but he can't use it. You have to be the one to use the watch now to do it. <laughs> Victor didn't know it, but by taking you as his protege, he undid his entire plan. But that doesn't mean there won't be damage. Come on, gang. Let's go take a look. At what? A brave new world. Where are we? New York, 1943. The who? Why does everything look so weird, though? Yeah, is that Victor's face on the billboard? He did it. He finally did it. The world in his image, like he always used to say. What are we going to do? The ship is toast, and we've got all the Time Walkers and Victor gunning for us. Well, the Time Bubble will give us some protection. Since it's Time Walker tech, no one can interfere with us directly inside the bubble. So, looks like most of us on the island of Manhattan. But everything is down. We can't handle this on our own. We need backup. And if we can't communicate with anyone... Hmm. 
I actually think I might have an idea. Navy, do you still have that old radio? That was the Time Traveler's Radio Show, Season 2 Finale, Episode 14, The Final Countdown. The Time Traveler's Radio Show is a special production by WPNR at Radio City in New York and was recorded in front of a fake studio audience. The Time Traveler's Radio Show was created by Cody Cutler and Jacob Ernest. This episode was written, produced, and directed by Cody Cutler. It starred W. Benjamin Hyde as John, Adam Packard as Alex, Kelly Cook as Jessica, Darcy Ramirez as Navy, Chris Rollins as Arthur, and Dane Allred as Victor. It also starred Jeff Simpson as Balthazar, Henri, and Pierre. On Dean Morgan Garner as Mares and the Francines. Julie Dowd as Marissa and Sherry. Jacob Ernest as Leo, Henry, and Worsley. Chelsea Lynn Trammell as Queen Victoria. Mackenzie Sky Pedersen as Caitlin. Tommy Brown as Sean and Chester A. Rubin. Matthew De La Fuente as The Franks. And Jacob Baird as Dimitri. The production sound mixer was Kayla Santos. Sound design was by Cody Cutler. And music by Richard Williams and Jerem Hansen. The executive producer was Cody Cutler. With a special thanks to the Hive Collaborative in Provo, Utah, and Kyle Clausen, and associate producer Ron Bateman. Follow the Time Travelers Radio Show on Instagram and Twitter, or like us on Facebook. Stay up to date with everything Time Traveler related over at www.timetravelersradio.com. Thank you for listening, and as always, see you next time! My child, our time together has been brief yet beautiful.